What's up, fam? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. So, we got a chance to sit with uh, the disc records, and I got a chance to sit with Kendrick Lamar's response, Euphoria, right? Um, Everybody's going crazy about it. You know, you knew that they would, and he respond back to Drake. Everybody is now in hate Drake mode all of a sudden. Now everybody's questioning Drake's blackness. He's, you know, they didn't question it after Pusha T showed up with a, with a blackface picture. That was okay. Nobody questioned his blackness after that. But Kendrick Lamar pretty much comes back and just pretty much just doubles down on what Pusha T said. Now that I sat with the with the record, like I said, the lyrics, Kendrick's always gonna have lyrics, right? But this record to me is nothing more than than story of Adenon part two. Because what did he talk about in this record? Well, he talked about the father, the questionable fatherhood. Well, Pusha T did that. He talked about him struggling with being black. Pusha T did that, right? Um, he basically, he, he made the reference to, I don't know whether him bringing up Sexy Red was a reference to the young girls, right? I, I guess he did kind of uh, kind of diss, talking about young girls, he said, because they confuse themselves with real women. Kind of like what Drake told him, uh, what Tupac told him to talk about so he so he was listening to ai tupac because he took his advice you know <laughs> and and drake's record he said talk about how he likes young girls and that's what kendrick did so he actually took the advice of ai tupac you know the kendrick record now that i sat with it and listened to it a, a few times it still didn't give me that wow factor, the factor of Kendrick saying something like, when you hear diss records, you want to hear something that makes your jaw drop that you didn't know that's in the diss. You know, the takeover. I got the pictures I seen you. You know, I know what, did you know what, well, you know who. Um, I know who I paid, searchlight, you know, stuff like that. Ether. Rockefeller died his age. That was the end of his chapter. And that's who y'all chose to name your company after. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, Kendrick didn't tell me anything in this record that I didn't already know. Okay, we know Drake's biracial. But Kendrick, don't you, aren't you raising a biracial son? I mean, are you going to tell him that he can't say the N word because he's not fully black? All of a sudden now the, the race card and the you know the color shaming, like I don't see why everyone thinks that that's cool, but when it's done to someone else, y'all complain about it. And then so, you know, you're talking about the young girls, and then on the other hand, he turns around and says, "Oh, he don't think he likes girls. Oh, he don't like think he likes women." So I don't know which one it is. You know that is the you know your your usual. Assuming or insinuating that a man of color, I call Drake a black man. He's got a black father, right? He's never, ever said he's not recognized as a black man. He's actually complained about not being recognized, you know, by BET and stuff like that. And my thing about it is this. Of course, you can say whatever you want to say in a battle, but why were you still feeling this way when when y'all was getting the features? For everybody just turning on Drake now, everybody decides, oh, it's cool to, to let's trendy. Let's all turn on Drake. Oh, I'm so glad that that they're finally dissing Drake. Dude is still the most streamed rapper. So now all of a sudden y'all have a problem with Drake. When did this happen? Like I said, the, the fans of, of hip-hop music is just too flip-floppy for me, too wishy-washy. And so as far as, you know, who won round one, 
I guess because of, of the reaction, you know, Kendrick won round one. And, and, and you know, that's because of the reaction. In my opinion, I think Drake had the better diss record because Drake was taking on five different people. So I'm going to give Drake the slight edge in my mind because he was dissing five different people. Kendrick was only dissing Drake, and all he really did was take Pusha T's angles and just re-innovate them. You know, oh, he's not black enough. He doesn't feel as though he's black enough. Oh, he's not a real father. You know, don't like when you say the N-word. Then he took the whole thing with, with DMX and... After DMX said, I don't like the way you walk, I like the way you talk, but then DMX later apologized for saying that and took it back. Of course, nobody talks about that. But to me, it's not nothing crazy. Like, the, his diss was not nothing crazy. So we're going to see if they decide to keep going. Drake, no matter what Drake puts out, everybody's going to say, oh, Kendrick won, Kendrick won. But then when, when, they go, when it goes back to music, they're going to go back to streaming Drake's music way more than Kendrick's. Right? So, again, man, I got, to me, Drake had the better diss record, but because of the reaction of the fans, the flip-floppy fans, the, the wishy-washy fans, they're going to say that Kendrick is up. Oh, Kendrick destroyed Drake. I even got people talking about this is the new ether and, I mean, just all sorts of crazy. So what I want to know is, do you, do you see, if you can think with an open mind and not be a biased mind, like I said, I'm, I'm biased to the bars. The bars were there. However, his angle that he took, Drake already mentioned it in um, TaylorMade, and he went and did exactly that. The angle with the blackness, so you know, something with the blackness, I already heard that from Pusha. You know what I mean, so that's why to me, maybe to a bunch of y'all who really don't listen to lyrics and are really just acting emotional because you don't like Drake at this moment, I maybe to you guys it, it like the words the wordplay was out of was crazy, and only calls it euphoria because Drake. We know, we know. O only people who don't understand nothing. Oh my God, Drake is the executive producer of Euphoria. You didn't know that. <laughs> And if you look up the definition of euphoria, you didn't know what the definition was before this record came out. So, <laughs> y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about um, Drake's push up, stop and give me 50 against Kendrick Lamar's uh, record, Euphoria. So, boy, heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.